Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I'll show you some of the fastest tools I'm using for hard surface workflow. Let's go! So the first one's gonna be a cut with boolean with box cutter. Normally when you cut with box cutter you need to draw a shape then click to approve and then laser cut's gonna cut through the mesh. But there is a quicker way of doing it. If you shift click here and open these additional options, you can enable quick release. This will allow you to literally drag and when you release your mouse, the cut's gonna be performed, which means you can cut extremely quickly through your mesh if you, you know, so desire. If you would like to learn more about hard ups and box cutter, we have a fantastic free course that will teach you a lot of tips and tricks on hard ups and box cutter workflow. It's a sci fi terminal in Blender. It's modeling, rendering, and uh, even editing of your renders. So, quite a beefy tutorial. And it's free. Links in the video description. And then, if you're a Blender beginner and you're starting with Blender and you're not really that deeply into add ons yet, then I'll suggest our Jumpstart course, which will teach you literally everything you need to know in terms of basic knowledge for blender hard surface including menus you know basic operations modifiers modeling rendering all that stuff it's fantastic it's free as well links in the video description another powerful tool that i'm using quite a lot is going to be smart apply with hard ups it's applying all the booleans all the mirrors all the modifiers except for last bevel or structural bevel and weight normals so go here to operations and uh, smart apply. You can also um, access this through Everscroll. If you hover over, you will see that if you alt click on Everscroll, you will apply smart apply. Now, once you do that, and you're gonna have a lot of cuts like that, sometimes what you wanna do is symmetrize that. So let's say uh, I wanted to symmetrize this mesh down. I would be using another tool that I use quite a lot is with mesh machine and that's mesh machine mirror. Alt X and you'll see this gizmo and now when you move your mouse to a direction, let's say to the bottom, you will see that it will mirror my mesh. This one is extremely quick and uh, it's very powerful, I use it all the time. Now when you do that, you'll see that we're going to have a lot of edges that are not needed. Normally for the boolean support to work, you need only two edges in the mesh, not that many. So we can clean that very easily with clean mesh with hard ups. So go to um, object mode, go to operations and simply clean mesh. And this will remove all the edges that are not necessary and do not actually contribute to supporting the uh, uh, the mesh. So there you go, now we're left with only two edges. If you, however, for example, have some rogue geometry like this, so let's just subdivide this edge here, this uh, vert, I mean. So we're going to subdivide and create some crazy verts here in the middle. Uh, maybe some kind of, uh, you know, maybe some kind of a vert here, here and here, just for fun. Okay, subdivide it and maybe we're gonna have some kind of crazy mesh floating here in space. If you wanna quickly clean that, what you need to do is use clean mesh with machine tools by pressing three. This will clean all the junk and this problem here can be cleaned again with hard ups through clean mesh. So there you go, that's how you can do that. Not a fantastic tool I use quite a lot, it's gonna be a line tool uh, through uh, machine tools. So let's say I'm gonna have this kind of a shape and I'm gonna apply this and I'm going to, you know, uh, let's say I'm going to chamfer this, right? And now I want to align these, for example, verts or with the vert in the top. All I need to do is go to edit mode, select the verts, select the one I wanna to align to last. So last and then alt A and move my mouse to the top. Again, it's a pie, pie menu based and uh, it's extremely quick. And you can very easily align stuff uh, to um, other verts, so for example, like this. And I can move these as well to, for example, this vert here, right? And uh, then I could, for example, move these back to the mesh here and then press 3 to clean it. Another super powerful tool would be Pebble for sub D. Normally, when you're running sub D, you need to run Ctrl R with loop or run creases to create a support for this kind of a structure here i'll be using mesh machine mirror to mirror it to all you know all these sides and then if you're going to run the control 4 for example you will see that the shading is going to hold but the problem with this method is that these edges are not really equidistant and also it just take a lot of you know work to do that especially when you have a bit more complex mesh so let's say if you have a mesh like this and you you know you had some cuts in here 
something like this and you wanted to apply that and then you wanted to run sub d on that mesh so be a bit problematic right so what you can do in this situation is control b that and scroll to add one more segment press p and then move your mouse up and down to flex this to 90 degrees press a then you can adjust the size of this uh, bevel here click and then if you run sub d on that it's gonna hold now you will need to perform some cleanup in here around some edges here and preferably some edge here but the majority of the work is done for you so uh, this is a, a really cool tool to know another cool tool that i'm using sometimes is dice dice is fantastic for uh, changing this kind of a, a surface into quads so go to edit mode select the faces click on dice press v and scroll your mouse to introduce you know more uh, more of your segments and click and you'll basically get this kind of like a quad based uh, topology here and then you can start connecting edges and this could help you to introduce quads when you need them um, on, a, on a face that you know it's impossible to run loops through another fantastic tool that i use a lot is a uh, radial array uh, on the cursor through hard ups Let's say you got this kind of a situation. Uh, so you got a cylinder here and the cylinder is rotated. Uh, let's say on Y axis like this. And let's say it's moved somewhere here. And we're going to move the cursor to uh, to this face here. Shift S and to face, okay. Let's just you know apply a bevel. And now I wanted to run some cuts on it. So I'm going to grab this uh, circle and I'm gonna create a cut here like this and shift click to apply. And then if I want to create a radial array, it's really easy because you go to Q, Mesh Tools and Control click on Radial Array and boom, there's your radial array aligned to your rotation. Another tool I use a lot is S Select and L Select through, machine, uh, through Mesh Machine. So if I'm going to have this kind of uh, shape here, so let me uh, create a Union Boolean and apply it. And if I wanted to select this edge here in Blender, you know this is gonna be impossible to select because of the angles all you need to do is click on the edge and then alt click and it will select um, all the edges around if you have additional sharp edges on your mesh it will select them all but you can go here to the menu and actually change to loop select okay you can also do it through the y menu go to uh, to the uh, selection here in the bottom and you can l select or s select if you I have for example multiple um, shapes on your mesh that you wish to select at once so let's say i'm going to mark them here what you can do is select each edge of these shapes and go to y and go to a select it will select all the sharp edges linked to one another uh, on all these shapes this is a very powerful tool especially when you want to clean stuff so you can go here and go to boolean cleanup and you know very easily clean uh, this mesh very quickly by connecting all the verts. So there you go guys, a few tips on fast tools in hard surface modeling that could speed up your workflow immensely. If you would like to see another video on that, uh, let me know because there are quite a lot more tools like that. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.